if in fact the individual on the left was not doing his job, and as you've heard from counsel in his opening, that all 155 level one signature reviewers were being monitored by their supervisors, that individual would have been taken off the line. And your honor, you're gonna hear that that individual was taken off the line. Okay, was that man removed from the line? He was removed from the process of signature verification, reassigned from the process. Okay, when was he reassigned? Exact date, I, I do not know, but it was not, and if I may, some liberty, was not because of that video or not because he was reviewing as he was required to do. It was just that there's a skill set that's required to perform this function. And if you are having not meeting those marks, then we'll move you to another task, whatever that may be, curing as an example. But as you sit here today, you can't tell me that when he was reassigned. I was not anticipating that, so I don't have his HR record. Right. That individual, to the best of your knowledge, was reassigned to do additional tasks. Recall to so testify? Yeah. Have you taken any efforts to learn more about why that individual was reassigned? I have. Why so, is that? What did you learn? So for clarity and finding out through our different management level that he was reassigned just like Mr. Myers. I'll use him as a perfect example that he was predominantly assigned, Mr. Myers as an example, to curing, but could and did a few signature verifications. This particular individual was assigned to different tasks, SEBs, to curing, to all that, but he did not prevent him from assisting in an all hands on deck capacity because he was not necessarily moved out of that position for some sort of error or some sort of uh, inconsistent uh, work product. It was just more to the extent that he we shift people as we do, and he was predominantly moved into different tasks rather than signature verification. So it's your testimony that while he was being supervised during the 2022 general election signature verification process, no supervisor found fault in what he was doing at level one um signature verification from my information i gathered none that were they had recollection of that specifically that it was just reassignment and two into different tasks as needed so he was reassigned because he was needed elsewhere and your honor you're going to hear that that individual was taken off the line To include the backwards review that is inferred that he is performing, that he that he is being, I guess, apparently maligned to saying that is signature verification when, in fact, it more than likely is just a second review. But he was perfectly qualified to continue doing level one review. Correct. And in fact could have done additional level one review if he wasn't needed in SEB or curing, correct? Correct, and as, as I testified, it wasn't exactly, but I know he was reassigned and that reassignment terminology, never did I indicate that he was terminated, he was reassigned. And your honor, you're gonna hear that that individual was taken off the line. Your Honor, user number 134, we can show, began work at Maricopa County Elections Department on October 17th. Mm -hmm. We can show that user number 134, the gentleman in question, uh, continued working at Maricopa County Elections Department until November 11 as 11-1 reviewer when such review was stopped, according to our witnesses' testimony, and most of the level one reviewers were let go. We can show this gentleman continuing to work in Maricopa County Elections Department in a different capacity, not related to some, I just want to testify and say something, but because they had a different role to fill. They were done with level one, Your Honor, and we would like to be able to confirm that.